You think Selden's gotten longer? We should measure him. You got a ruler? That's okay, Moby. How do you measure without a ruler? I know that length is how long something is. Width is how wide something is. And height is how tall or high something is. Selden isn't very tall or wide, but he is long. Let's use something to figure out Selden's length. Well, it's easier if we use something that's flat and straight. We can line up crayons to find out Selden's length. It's important to line them up in a straight line with no gaps. Or else we couldn't get an accurate measurement. Selden is one, two, three, almost four crayons long. You found it! A ruler can help us find exact measurements. What are inches? Well, an inch is a unit of measurement, and we can use inches to measure small objects. When you measure something with a ruler, it's really important to line it up with the zero. Right. This bolt is one inch long. We abbreviate inches as I-N period. Let's measure it. This screw is a little more than two inches long. It's longer than the bolt. This nail is close to four inches long. It's the longest. So, how long is your birdhouse, Moby? That's a gigantic birdhouse. Uh, we should use it as a doghouse instead. <laughs> Maybe you measured it using feet instead of inches. How can you measure using feet? For longer objects, we can measure in units called feet. Well, kind of, except we have different sizes of feet. If we measured with your foot, we'd get a different measurement than if we measured with my foot. That's why we have one standard foot that is the same. This ruler is one foot long, which is equal to 12 inches. Let's see... Your doghouse is about one, two, three feet high. This is the abbreviation for feet. F-T. I guess there are tons of ways to measure. Maybe in a few weeks we can measure Selden again and see if he's grown. <laughs> nice hat, Moby.